Okay, welcome to part four, I think we're on now, uh, of this video series. Um, this video I'm just going to demonstrate, well, we're going to carry on from where we left off, basically, because I got interrupted. So, um, the cache file is now being created, and I've just removed this true, which forces this to run. So, now we should have a sort of faster loading page, because it's coming directly from our um, cache file instead of the YouTube API server thingy. So that's pretty much it actually. That's kind of the end, which is annoying because I've just made a 34 second video as the final part, but never mind. Um, I suppose I could demonstrate how to, yeah, let's do that. That'll be interesting. So a way to use this uh, is to like, you can you, you can sort of loop over it and output the, the titles and stuff. So like for the, well, let's do it for videos a bit longer. So we could define like say this say this now was our HTML page, we could define a, like a videos variable as get videos somewhere at the top uh, and the username. This does, this would work for any username. These, these feeds are public, so you could like get uh, I can't think of any other YouTube usernames. Uh, well, anyone basically would work <laughs> for that. Uh, if you're using it for multiple people, though, like multiple users, you would have to have a separate cache file for each user. That's something I haven't thought about. Um, but it'd be fairly easy to do that, actually. You could just have, like, in your... where has it gone? Here. So, like, the cache file could be, um, like, username underscore. So you could just do... Right, well, that went well. Uh, you could just do that. And that would sort of cache it uniquely for the user that you supply. But for this, so we're just using my username, so it seems a bit pointless. So, like, a way to sort of produce something with this would be to loop over the videos array. So, for each videos as video. And then you see we have this array that we created, so you could do... Uh, well, let's just echo uh, output, even. Let's output each video title in a div tag. So, you can do echo string and that string is div uh, wrong order div div and then inside you would just have video title like so what that will do is well let's just remove this header because we're not using the plain text anymore we're creating a html document what that will do is output each video on a new line if I view the page source you see we have each video in a div tag so that's how you can do that that's basically what I did on my site so yeah there's a bit of a use for it um, obviously this would need a doc type and all kinds of other things before it was properly usable uh, I can't actually remember the doc type I use, I have like um, I have templates for it actually let's just create one um, playlists so I create a new page called it playlists it already has the doc type in it so inside this new page we can include our file so php php tags we can include our backend file which is core slash init dot ink dot php and then we could define playlists as get playlists for the given username which was me like so um, and then inside the body where it should be we could like a new PHP block and then we could do for each playlists oops play lists as playlist then we could do echo like a paragraph tag or something we could echo the playlist title so playlist title like so just hit save and if we go back to our browser just remove this videos page and then if we load up the playlist page so now we have a list of playlists on a valid page which is important um, so yeah we have like a list of our playlists so there's a way you can do that um, they're in sort of date order so this was the most recent playlist uh, so the last one Again, I tried to upload a new playlist, but YouTube is being stupid, and it wouldn't let me for some reason. 
have to try and work that out in a moment. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the end of this video now. Um, obviously, the description and stuff you would just change like to well, if you wanted to. Okay, yeah, let's start very useful. Let's link it. Let's have a href equals ah, um, and then we had the link to the playlist in the um, link. I think it was called was it URL. Hmm. It was URL. So we had the. Uh, playlist the link in the playlist URL element that's it so playlist URL obviously they need to be escaped and then after there oops do, 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 do. there we go no that's all wrong <laughs> right delete the question mark move the A all right there we go so if we reload our page now see they're all linked and if I just click on one of these um, we'll be taken to the play YouTube playlist page like so there's the playlist good playlist so here it called a description why does it call it content in the API no idea okay so that's actually it now that's the end of this tutorial um, that's basically how I made my website obviously I faffed around with CSS why are there 85 errors oh okay because of the and symbol um, well, okay, let's demonstrate that. Something to talk about. Oh, there aren't any. Wait, what? Hmm, fair enough. Okay, that was confusing, but I can't be bothered to edit the end of that video, so my stupid confusion is at the end. Um, right, so that's the end of this, and this is basically how I made my website, except, like I said, I faffed around with CSS and used loads of stupid things that won't work in IE. So, there you go. Right, so that's the end of that, and hopefully I've answered the question to whoever asked me it, so thanks for watching.